Can you guys... Can you guys hear it now? Am I live? Am I back? <sighs> guys... Are you here? Are you here? Can you... Can you guys hear the game? Are you guys still here? This is this is live. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I need to sleep. I know what you're thinking. What Mama said, right? Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. But what's the last secret? I guess the only thing left is Tokiko. Why did she kill herself? Why did she order Amame to do those things? Taking Jin's left half to the stadium. And taking her own body to the president's office, too. Yeah. Yes. We have no Kirby, idea. Kirby, can you hear the game audio? Why did Tokiko do all that? It is Tokiko's hologram. This was among the data that was sent to me by Tama. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. If you do not mind, if it's no trouble, would you guide me to Moksha? What? I will tell you a number. It is a crucial figure that can create a seam in this false world. It is called the Nil Number. Are you prepared? Please take note of it. Seven nine nine eight six two. And now. Why does mobile Twitch suck? No! I will look forward to the day we meet again. But I am not talking about them, of course. Ryuki? No. Not Ryuki, either. But you. The one listening to me now. Yes. The Freyer. You. I'm the Freyer. Now. <sighs> I Discord DM'd you what to do with this in spoiler tags after you finish, but mark this down. 799862! 799-862. 799-862. 799-862. The stadium? What are we doing here? What? You mean you don't get it, BB? Boss is present is probably here. Why do you think that? Remember Oh no, everyone's going to sing and dance now. Vertical is male. Don't worry, I did it for you in Discord. Female. Thank you. Now, insert the numbers that Mr. Chieda and Ota gave us. Male is 5.4. Female is 6.607. 5.4 times 6.607 equals 35.16789. That's the vertical coordinate. The horizontal. Horizontal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Dark got it. I got it. I like got it. Point. Okay, those numbers. Don't they sound... Oh. North 30. I see. The vertical and horizontal were referring to coordinates. Which is here. The present must be here somewhere in the stadium. But... Roboji. I already know you're gonna sing and dance, just do it! It looks pretty big. It is somewhat unnerving. Not something that would make a kid cheer with joy, anyway. Why don't you open it? Okay. It's scary! It's fine. It will not explode. You can x-ray it. Are you sure? This is boss we're talking about. It looks pretty big. That's what she said. Ha 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 I suppose I can't be sure. I know. X-ray. Duh. Ah! Yuki! Took you long enough. I was suffocating in there. Ryuki. Ryuki? Ryuki! 
And I'm here too. Tama, your body, you're healed? I'm perfectly fine. Uh, not perfect. His wounds still haven't healed. But I feel no pain at all. Boots, they will because not I got heal. you hopped up on painkiller. You need to go back to the Fear hospital. Is it's fine. It's not fine. I had to do it. Boss gave me a call. Hey, Ryuki. I hear you can walk now. I have a favor to ask you. I want to set up a little surprise for those two. And if you say no, I'm demoting you. Good luck. So, yeah. How mean. She's the devil. But, but... I'm glad you're okay, Ryuki. You seem to be doing well. Yes. Congratulations, Ryuki. Thank you. I'm sorry we made you worry. <laughs> You two are like a married couple. <laughs> well, you can't be serious. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. Boss check. I'm sitting up straight. Oh, great. Do it. Here we go. Let's celebrate Ryuki's full recovery. It's not a full recovery. Anyway, we have a special dance for you. Please watch us. Start the music! Do the code thing after. Ow! Okay. That opening to the song makes me think of Oh Mickey. Oh Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Yo, this is making me miss Invincible Rainbow Arrow. Root will never expire. I took off her headset, now she's poofy. Oh yeah, I guess my hair's poofier because now it's drying. I'm surprised everyone's not here. Oh, there they are. Everyone's coming now. I had to listen to Pro ZD singing. <gasps> Wait, that's it? Singing I, I bet it sounds better in Japanese. Probably. Also, the laser beams would look a lot better if it wasn't sunset, if it was just, like, dark. Because then the lights would stand out more. Yo, is Tama hitting on him? You can tell they at least had fun developing this, knowing it was corny.
I'm just waiting for this to end so that I can figure out what the heck, um... Pokiko's number thing was. End it. End it now. Wow, I think my PS5 doesn't like, um, being on and streaming for this much because it looks super pixelated. Damn. Made with Unity. Cool. He's in the song and I'm on the song have been unlocked and bonus memory. Cool. I Bali's function. Wait time for question is now zero seconds and picture book play with I Bali's that you met in past function. Oh cool. So now I could just answer questions and try to get all the different eyeballs. Nice. Okay, so um let's see. FYL, you get an interesting thing at the end of the game if you want to know what to do with it. Six digit number. Tokiko asks for if you tell her you're the Freya in Yugi Chapter 1. When he first meets her in the Nai's headquarters during the conversation, Tokiko will ask you, Freya. Okay, so I will look. Goodbye, little big sis. Goodbye, big big sis. Stupid timeline. Um, Mizuki Chapter Zero, Duki Chapter Zero, Duki Chapter One. But it's this one, right? Yeah, because Tokiko talks to him here. Um, nice president's office. I just copied that from a guy, but it sounds right from what I remember. Okay, we can do it. We can try it out. I hope I can skip all dialogue until the thing. Welcome. I'm the- I apologize, Miss- I- Okiko. Um... Judging I'm just gonna... You ask... I had a ver oh, did I skip it? That anyway, nice. I had heard I thought... Yeah. Some but that's made room not or had this. This is Ideological. a good article. This not the not your... Yeah, and if if what? If you took that, that... The interest... Uh, what is that? It's a... It's... Considering indeed, but there was we have been the purpose of this. I am, however, I assume. What do you? Uh, do you? So I'm at. We didn't have. Nice. Uh! She caught though when order. Of it's in the oldest. Then how I were. I was only. Some. Your badge. Um. Is there anything else I could do or? Ah, stop flipping around so much. Is that a wing sink? Okay. Oh, did I miss it? 
Shoot. But, like, this is the first time I see Tokiko, so can I... What else am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. I just have to, uh, do the sign. By the way, what is it? Are you a frayer? Frayer? I am asking. What? I will ask you one more time. This is it. Are you a frayer? A frayer? Yes. Hey, Yuki. As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I correct? Yes. Yuki, what's gotten into you? Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. Seven nine nine eight six two. I'm getting chills. I don't like this. Yuki chapter diverge. He was infected with TC Perch this early? <gasps> oh no. What? Why is he like Tama. that? Tama. I function offline. Oh my gosh. Kirby, this is terrifying. Self repair program activated. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you. Arigata. Oh, ooh. I'm you. Watashi wa shinda something cares on nai. Let me show you the real world. I am the space. Kono. Who can? You can read some of that. Yeah, I don't- I can't really read, um, the kanji too well, though, like, but I can recognize what it stands for, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Where could she be? What? Find me, where could she- <gasps> Kirby, what the freak? I don't like this! See, like, when the game started off, it was so creepy and it was so weird and it had so much promise and then it was just like... Derp derp! We're gonna stop a rocket! So much promise. This is the true world. Do you understand? Or is it reality? The word reality is a misnomer because reality is fake. This has already been demonstrated. How did you know about the nil number? My hologram only discusses that fact six years into the future. And it is not Ryuki who will be told. The two Mizukis. We will tell them the nil number, but for some reason, you already knew. Why is that? Can you explain? This is a logical paradox. This is an enormous seam in the structure of this world. It has been rent, and the reality beneath has been exposed. Do you recall what I told you? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and the whole will be created. This is the result. We are in that hole now, in an empty space, torn into the false world itself. But that's the world of the game, so... 
Why did you order Amame to move the corpse? Why was the nil number shared at that time? Why did you commit suicide? Nil number? Okay. You asked me three questions. All of them have the same answer. In order to experience this moment now, we did this. Although I suppose it is more accurate to say what we are about to experience. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. So we're Everything between days. Everything happened to make this happen. And what is about to happen. The reality is, this world will eventually collapse. I have reached Moksha, thanks to you. Further explanation is unnecessary. I will not allow you to call this charity, but... I will grant you one of two options. Ryuki is about to return to the original world. When that happens, you can share this information with him, or not share this information with him. Which do you choose? I leave that decision to you. Share it! I see. Ryuki will be returned to the original world, with the knowledge of these past few days, and what will happen six years from now. As a result, history will change. Not even I know if this will I don't remember what happens if you share. Happiness. We'll find out! But I will respect your decision. Be seeing you. Until we meet again. Goodbye, Freya. <sighs> Thanks for the virtual hugs, Kirby. Where Toki go? Ryuki, are you okay? What about Tokiko? I have no idea. I was out cold. Mamoru, where's Tokiko? Huh. She was just here earlier. She reached Moksha. I explained to Tama how I met Tokiko outside the president's office. So Tama is... Are you stupid or something? It's just one of your typical episodes. Episodes? Yeah. Your hallucinations? I think you need to get some sleep. But my eyeball is still green. It's the frayer. Oh, because he knows everything now. Good thing I'm not going into the office tomorrow morning so I don't have to wake up early. All this happened, more or less. Six years later. There. <sighs> it's cold. Mr. Date. What are you doing here? I'm here to investigate a case. A case? <laughs> Guess I've got to tell you everything. You're not working? Now. I am working. Just working from home. Six years ago, you solved the HB case and got promoted. Now you're second in command at Abyss. You're always at your desk now, so you don't really know what it's like out there anymore. About the HB case. What, is the cold getting to your brain or something? You solved the HB case six years ago. You found terror, Urusomizuki, in the basement of Horidori Institute. I bet he's in his holding cell right now, cursing your name. The case is still in the courts, but there's no doubt he's gonna get hit hard with the sentencing. No one but him knows the whole story. But he definitely cut Jin and Chikara in half. About Tokiko. Huh? Why are you asking about Tokiko? She disappeared six years ago. She's been missing. Anyway, I'm gonna get going now. See ya. Oh, it's you, Mr. Ryuki. I have to talk to everyone again? Komeji. Long time no see, Ryuki. Shoma. Komeji, you're alive. Hmm? What do you mean? I'm not a ghost. See? My legs are right here. Well, they are short. To think, my only son insulting me like this. You should consider yourself lucky I don't have a short temper. Ha 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 ha.
exist in this world? That's an odd way of phrasing it. Though it's true, I was removed from the world outside. Congrats on your promotion in Abyss. Thank you. Because six years ago, you opened the freezer at Brahmin, Mr. Ryuki. I got sent to prison for illegally disposing of a dead body. But I finished my sentence long ago. Now I work at a tofu factory, and I still do my comedy act on the side. Boy, now that I look back on it, what was I thinking? Yeah, I'm actually Oh, no, I arrested. missed it. Alcohol's no excuse. I caused so much trouble for Shoma and Amame. Back then. If I was never caught, things might have turned out worse. I can only thank you. Shoma, why are you here? I was just on a walk with Dad. It feels good walking in snow, you know? Oh, don't worry about my body. I can't really put it into words, but I think I've come to accept it. It's not like a disease or something. And it doesn't cause me any pain. Plus, I don't think I've completely stopped aging. I'm growing a little bit. Maybe I'll live to be 600 years old. <laughs> That would suck. If you really think hard about it, it is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy without thinking hard about it. it makes you feel kind of bad that this is what could have happened if all of this didn't happen. <laughs> True. Now I hate how the game yourself. doesn't center the camera on the characters. Bye, Ryuki. They're always like slightly off somehow. It's just like, why? Too late. I was gonna ask what they wanted to eat for dinner. Mame, and again. I didn't think I would meet my savior here. Today is going to be a good day. Mame. Huh? What is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. More like I've seen a killer. Are you talking about a Mame? Well, she did slice it right down the middle. The lobster we got at the store. <laughs> because you asked me to, Genny. Ryuki, in this timeline, Amame didn't kill anyone. Oh, now you believe me, Tama? As you saw earlier, Komeiji is alive and well. There is no reason for Amame to kill Terror. Not to mention Terror himself, Uusa Mizuki, has been in prison for the last six years. Uh, well, just to get this out there, I don't completely believe in this- Okay, time um, I really have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh gosh, I can't hold it anymore. Okay, let's go. Let's finish this. I'm just humoring you. Yeah, and Savior. Uh, are you serious? I'm talking about six years ago. You covered up what I did with Jin's left half. Not too long after we moved the body to the freezer, you found it there. Mame and I didn't even get a slap on the wrist. Right. Komeiji was the only one convicted of disposing of the toast. corpse. He never mentioned Mame's name during the trial. Well, we're gonna get going. Ryuki, come by the restaurant soon. I'll be waiting at Brahmin, too. Bye for now! Who next? Hey He's there, not in Ryuki. She has legs! K Kizuna! Huh? Why are you so shocked, Ryuki? Did Kizzy's beauty startle you? Your legs! My legs? Hey, why are you looking at Kizzy's legs? Don't get any ideas, man. N no, that's not it. If what you said is true, Ryuki, six years ago, on February 15th, an explosion destroyed the cathedral. But in this timeline, that obviously never happened. Why are you here? Why? <laughs> well, this place is special for me and Kizzy. So we went on a date. A date, huh? You two seem happy. 
Hell yeah. I am very thankful. See, why do they do this? Why do they By make the them off-center? It's so stupid. I saw Mizuki in courts earlier. I think they're looking for you. For me? They had a message for you. They wanted you to meet them somewhere. Where? It's nearby. Yes, the stadium. Baby, heard you were looking for me. Oh, yes. Um, we wanted to ask you something. Does seeing the stadium evoke any emotions? Like what? I feel like we fought together here today on February 15th. I think you were there too, Ryuki. So I thought you might know something. Mizuki, Aiba? Huh? What about Aiba? I am right here, in Mizuki's left eye socket. Once I decided to join Abyss, I got my left eye removed. And I was installed there. So Mr. Date doesn't have you? I go back sometimes. Like having two lovers. Please do not make it weird. You're just that popular. Yeah, you have a way of attracting all the weirdos. Who are you calling a weirdo? Hey, Tama. Is it really okay to leave things like this? <laughs> what do you mean? Omeji is alive, Kizuna still has her legs, Mommy didn't kill anyone, and she's living her best life. Isn't this the ultimate happy ending? Yeah, that's all true, but... <gasps> oh, why, Tokiko? The boundary that divides the real and unreal is ambiguous. It's all like a butterfly dream. Happy ending, huh? Perhaps you are that butterfly, fluttering as the wind carries you through the air. Is that why her video came up at the end of <clears throat> Tara's recorded video? He's like, ooh, I'm hijacking. Whoa! Third class cabin has been unlocked in bonus? Ah! Okay, that's just off to the side. In bed. Wait, what's third class cabin? Bonus. Show I, me too. I mean, I know I have to like nine nine nine. Hurry and check it out. Come on. What? Our dark class cabin somnium. A loud noise startled Aiba awake and her eyes snapped open. What the? As they adjusted to the light, she realized that she didn't recognize her surroundings. Oh. No way! With a crack, Aiba's head connected with something metal. She rolled over and threw out her hand to steady herself, but she found herself groping at empty air. Whoa. Whoa. Her balance lost and her still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Aiba tumbled to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Uh, what the hell? She looked above her with an angry scowl. She finally understood where she fell from. A bed? A three bunk- a three bed bunk bed. She fell from the top bunk. I fell pretty far. Uh, that really hurt. Her shoulders, knees, and back were in pain. But her head got the worst of it. Damn. My eyesight's kind of blurry. I must have hit my head. No, wait. That's Why is it, it shaking this much? Stop it. There's a vibration coming from the floor. The whole room was shaking. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. I bet I didn't know what could be causing it. Anyway. I bet brushed her body off and stood. She looked she slowly looked around. No. No way. 
and she whispered, Where am I? I was stood in a room so unfamiliar to her and nearly made her forget the pain in her body. Eventually, the shaking subsided. Wait, it stopped? A strange silence started to fill the room. In the distance, the sound of metal. What's that sound? Iba looked around about the room. An antique stove. A three-bed bunk bed with thin mattresses. And there was another set of beds on the other side of the room. On the wall was a slightly rusted iron door. It stood firm and cold as a stone monument. That's... The first thing that caught her attention was the writing. There was a number written on the door with bright red paint. Five. Five? What's this five mean? She stared at the number and slowly approached. She tried shaking the L-shaped handle on the door. Uh, it won't open. I wonder if this is all word for word. Oh, shoot. Pushing and pulling did nothing. Beside the door was a device that appeared to be some kind of card reader. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Iba closed her right hand and pounded on the metal door. No response. She lifted her left hand. And at that moment, she noticed something peculiar. Huh? What the hell is this? She couldn't keep the question inside. On her left wrist was a bracelet totally alien to her. A digital number was displayed in the center. A watch? Hmm, it doesn't look like one. I love this. It couldn't be, of course. There was only one number displayed. Five? That's... That's the same as the door. Not that she knew what that meant. Iba was confused, but decided her first course of action should be to take the bracelet off. She turned her wrist as if taking off a watch. How do I take this off? There was no clasps on either side of the bracelet. She turned her wrist the other way. She noticed the protrusions coming out each side of the display. Maybe pushing something on this will work? Jumpy! She pressed it, but nothing happened. The digital face did not change at all. Nothing. Damn. I guess I'll have to force it off. Iba tried to remove the bracelet by force. But... No good. This stupid thing won't come off! The metal bracelet was tight around her wrist. What the hell is the deal with this thing? She let out a frustrated scream. The situation made no sense to her. Her head felt like it was going to explode. Why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, uh, my head. A sharp pain in her head caused her to lift her vision. Oh. She discovered a window opposite to the door. This is... It was a similar in style to those found on ships. Hold on. Am I on a ship? She slowly walked up to the window. Outside was pitch darkness. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. She squinted into the dark. In the next moment. Huh? What the- You gotta be kidding me! What the hell is going on here? <laughs> the window shattered. Water started pouring into the room. What the hell? God damn it! Iva shouted and turned around. She charged to the door. No answer. The water was rising quickly. It sloshed around her knees. It, it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out. And fast. Iba wiped sweat from her brow and looked around the room. Do I have to actually do this? Six minutes, one person, five door. Um... Oh my gosh, for real. Okay, well, um, uh, blue briefcase. Briefcase can't be pried open, so another key needs to be found. Oh my gosh, and it's timed? Bed. Can't bring myself to call this bed. Feels like a board with a sheet on it. It's pretty flat. A piece of paper under the pillow. 
The note under the pillow. On it is a blue shape and a red shape. Below is an arrow pointing right, pointing to something red and something blue. Oh, just could be checked from the clues. Okay. Um. Pork board. There's a note on it. The note on a bulletin board. There are red and blue triangles on the note. Below is a right-facing arrow, pointing to something red and something blue. It's a picture frame on the shelf. Old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship on it. There's screws keeping the back on. Oh. A pot and stove. On top of the stove is a faded pot. Let's see if there's anything in here. Huh? Looks like there is. A key. Key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? The key's blue. So this is supposed to open something else blue. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of here was easy to open. A screwdriver. Huh? Wonder why that's here. Normal screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Well, the screwdriver got the screws off easily enough, and here's a picture. A photo of a ship. It looks like an old cruise ship. <sighs> On the back of the photo are ten symbols and numbers. Didn't mean to keep you up with this. Oh no, I am loving this. Symbols were all the same shape, the top row was empty, and the bottom row was filled out. What does this mean? Briefcase. Lock on a briefcase, it won't budge. Hopefully the blue key will come in handy. I have a choice to put in the blue key in the lock, but it's not opening. Looks like you need a combination to unlock the briefcase. Oh shoot, um... No, I need the... Oh, back. Damn it! It didn't work. Is there something I can use in this situation? Setting the numbers and turning the key, perhaps. I thought they would do it for me. Um, okay, but... Shoot, where's my pen? Paper! Okay, so... Blue is that, that. Red is that, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm from the bulletin board. Red is that, that. Blue is that, that. Yeah, picture of a old clear. Okay, so this is zero, two. Six, three, and this is seven. Uh, oh, I can't tell what shape that is. I'm gonna guess it's four, eight, and five. Okay. Do this. Back. Blue briefcase. What? Okay, so blue should be zero two. Three. After setting a number and turning the key, the sound of the lock opening rings out. Looks like there's something in here. What's this, a file? Inside the file was a piece of paper. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Uh, compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digit to one another. For instance, if you t yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I know what a digital root is. Digital root of six, seven, eight would be six plus eight, seven plus eight is 21. Two plus one is three. Digital root of six, seven, eight is three. Digital root of one, two, three, four would be one. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. Back of thing thing. <laughs> Good job. A stack of key cards, huh? Number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Um, okay, and then I need mirror. Red key. Is this for opening something red? I should probably hold on to this key. Iba tries to leave, but something stops her. The person in the mirror was not herself. What's up with my face? She whispered to herself. I look like a zombie. What happened? Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I was solving a case. I synced. Thinking. And, and. At that moment, a memory came back. It was the last memory before Iba woke up in the room. She got home a little past 12. Aiba ran up the stairs to open the door to her room, room 201. Aiba's home, a modest studio apartment, one that 63,000 yen in rent could buy. She first moved into the studio when she started college. It had been three years and seven months since then. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. As she entered the room, she pressed a switch on the wall. 
The ceiling lights flickered and emitted a dull white light. Man, work was rough today. She was familiar with the scene in front of her. In the corner of the room were magazines and dust-covered college textbooks. CD cases scattered around, jeans and t-shirts left on the floor. But this time, something was different. Huh? A breeze? The night wind made the white lace curtains waver, carrying the scent of deep autumn. Huh. That's weird. Did I leave that open? Confused, she slowly, crept up, she slowly crept up to the window. It was open on one side. She stuck her head out to check. Hmm. Everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Iba closed the window. When suddenly... What? She turned to face a specter of a man dressed in black. He wore a hood and a gas mask that concealed his face. Who are... She tried to scream, but no sound came out. Uh, I... <coughs> <laughs> Iba fell to the floor with a thud. She saw white smoke pool around her. Smoke emanating from what looked like a grenade. Everything was going white. Even the thoughts inside her head were going white. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. It gave him a voice! A voice rang in her ears. It sounded scratchy, noisy, a distinct hissing growl. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That was her last memory before waking up. Iba's consciousness melted into the white fog. That's right! That guy with the gas mask! That son of a bitch must have taken me here! Iba clenched her teeth and tried to remember how the man looked. Well, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. His voice was definitely modulated by something and his body was cloaked and concealed. Just who was that? It said, You have been chosen. Tina's voice acting in an Honorary Games remake on Steam. Oh, okay. I but didn't have a clue what that meant. What the hell is going on? Why me? But the memory lingers. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you- Yeah, we just heard this. The Nonary game, huh? What the hell is a nonary game? God damn it! I have a punch the mirror. Lock on a briefcase. Red key. Not opening. Not doing anything else. I guess I can move the dial now. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put in right numbers and turn the key. I do that thing. This thing should pop right open. Seven, four, eight. All right, it's unlocked. Look like key cards. Number written on each card. One, two, three. Five. Five. What's the meaning of this number? On the side of the device is a small gap. The card I obtained earlier. Maybe you slide the card in there. There's a lever on the device. Maybe if I lower this. She lowered the lever, but all it did was emit a strange sound. The lamp is still red and the display didn't change. There aren't any more cards in here. I've got only got one other hint. Of course, the files. The file said something about a digital route. A digital route. A digital route, huh? What what am I supposed to do with? There's five on that door. Do I have to get a digital route of five? I'm not really sure about this. Ah, whatever. What? Ah, what ear? It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Digital root can be made with three of these numbers. Um, let's see. Six plus seven plus eight is fifteen plus six is twenty-one. That makes three. Um, eight plus three plus one, nine, ten. That makes three. Um, one, two, three. That makes six. Um. Two three seven makes thirteen. That makes four. Two three six makes eleven. That makes two. Eight seven one makes fifteen. Sixteen. That makes seven. Seven six one makes fourteen. With determination, she lowered the lever, which resulted in a different sound from before. That sound. Did it open? The red lamp is green. It must have worked. That was the last obstacle. Escape!
<laughs> you found it. <gasps> you found it. Seek a way out. Oh, were there any eyeballs in there? <gasps> I got a trophy! Bracelet has been locked in bonus menu. <gasps> yes! Choice. Oh my gosh! I don't think there's anything I can lock in Dream Album. I didn't find five eyeballs. In each stage. Gosh darn. Oh well. Shoot. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, that was so fun. Okay, now it's um it's really late. I'm exhausted. Um Thanks for watching, everyone. See y'all next time. I'm probably gonna like stream casually to uh get platinum trophy for this game before i move on to an um i move back to dragon quest 11. so yeah see you next time bye